Hey everyone, it's adorable Daniela, and today I have a very exciting video for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock the Rays Lighter Exotic Sword in Destiny the Taken King. Uh, it's pretty involved, but it won't be too hard for you once you follow this guide and I can give you some advice on how to do it. First thing you'll have to do is get the sword. If you don't already have the sword, I don't think I need to make a video and I think most people probably have it by now. But otherwise you can probably find a video on that, I'm pretty sure. Or just information on Reddit or whatever. Once you have the sword, you'll want to immediately upgrade it as quickly as possible because it has to be upgraded all the way. And to do that, you'll need uh, motes of light, or you'll have to go through playing uh, patrols or, or bounties or uh, strikes or whatever. Uh, but the best and fastest way to do it is with motes of light. If you have several motes of light, this should not be too difficult. All you have to do is go to your motes of light and use them over and over and over until your sword is all the way leveled up. Once you get the final uh, scabbard unlock, you'll still have to level it up slightly more and you'll see that it has a little bit more of a bar. So you'll just have to keep leveling it until it's totally maxed out and has a yellow border around it. Once you have done this, or any time before, you will need to get several weapons of 280 or higher and you'll need to infuse them. Now you'll need legendary marks and several other materials, uh, but it shouldn't be too hard uh, in order to do that. So once you have those materials, you'll be able to infuse it with either a rocket launcher or machine gun that is 280 or higher. And that is the most important thing. Once your weapon is above 280, your sword, then and only then will you get a final upgrade that will show up inside of the sword thing. So you go to that, you click on the upgrade, and you'll fully upgrade it past, uh, all the way to the end. <laughs> Sorry. Because there's a special hidden extra ammo. And it brings the total up to 56. Now, after doing this, you'll need to go to Lord Shax, and he will have a new quest for you immediately basically and what it requires is two things one is harder than the other and takes a little bit of time you can do it in a several rounds of crucible and i'm going to tell you what that is in a second the first one is 50 major uh majors i recommend just going to cosmodrone and in the video i'm going to show you where to do this uh but if you've been playing destiny for a while you're probably pretty familiar with this farming method so you just take the sword you go down there Remember, after it's leveled up and after you get the quest, and kill 50 of the majors. Just kill those three knights over and over and over again. Once you've done that, the next step that you have to do is go to Crucible. Just so head over there, and you're going to have to get, believe it or not, 25 kills in Crucible with a sword. It sounds very hard, it's pretty difficult, but with time and practice, I'm sure you'll be able to do it. I show in the video some tips and, and advice on how to do it, so here it is. Basically, if you go for the heavy right away, you can get the heavy and you can start hitting people with a sword. However, what you'll want to do is hide away somewhere and wait for people to come to you. Once the enemy comes to you, catch them off guard, hopefully in the back or whatever, and just get one hit, should kill them. If not, maybe two hits, whatever. Sometimes they have a super, or sometimes they'll require a little bit more than that. And the other thing you can do, and this is probably the best advice I can give you, is instead of waiting for heavy to drop, you can actually use the sword with just its uh, full energy, with no energy, sorry. And to do that, you just switch over to sword. It'll look like it's invisible. And this is kind of difficult, but basically you won't have a lunge. It's not very fast at all, and you have to get two hits. So it's kind of like a melee double hit kill, but it's a lot slower. So my best recommendation is the same thing as sword with heavy, is to hide out, wait for people to come to you, and try your absolute best to hit them in the back. Now in the video I show you several different times where I do this, and so you should get a general idea of how to, how to kill people with the sword without any energy at all. After this, and only after this, you must go back to Lord Shax, and he will have a whole nother quest for you to do. In this, you're going to have to head over to the Dreadnought, and in the video I'm going to show you exactly where you have to go for that. And in the Dreadnought, you're going to have to go to a specific place which is called the Fount. Once you get there, you'll have to go down, past some ogres and several thrall and such like that. And then you'll have to go into a big room, and in it there's going to be three different Warden Knights. 
Again, in the video, you should be seeing this. Basically, you'll have to kill all three with one super. So the best and the only one that I really recommend would be the Titan New Sunbreaker class. So head on in, get that super up, and as soon as you have it, go in there, try to get them. Um, one, they're probably not going to come into the middle. If they do, then you have better luck than me. I had to kill them with two on the edges and one in the middle. They're not very strong, though, so it shouldn't be too hard. After that, you're going to go in and have to fight, I believe his name is Estoc, or Astak, or whatever. He is a knight, and he is a swordsman. He has a shield. He can only be damaged initially with your sword, every time he has his shield up. I pretty much just fought him with the sword, but, yeah, you can shoot him if you'd like as well. But just make sure that you get a shield down first by using a sword against him. He will take a little while to take out. And there are several Cursed Thrall that will be around the room, so make sure that you're watching for them and run away when you need to. Essentially, he's going to be pretty strong, so you can get a few sword hits in, and once your health gets down into the red, I recommend you get out of there. Just rinse and repeat until he's dead, and then you'll have to go back to Lord Shax once again. At this point, it becomes, I would say, the most tedious part of this whole thing. You're going to have to go and get 500 ability kills with whatever the weapon is that you're using. In this case, I was using the Soul Edge one first, so that would be Solar. I recommend you do this with the Titan again, because I think that the Titan special is probably the best. Now in the video, I show you an exact spot where you can farm. It's on Venus, and what's really nice is actually, while this is normally an uh, area where you have to go and jump up and jump back up and have the enemies show up, and you still have to do that, occasionally the Taken are going to come in and they're going to try to kill you. Uh, it'll say that Taken are corrupting the land and you'll be able to have a chance to kill them as well. This is good because you can do lots and lots of ability kills against them. I recommend you bring the gun Bad Juju. And in the video I show exactly this. You basically just keep killing the guys and you'll get your supers up very quickly and rinse and repeat. After this you're going to have to go to, in this case, the moon. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be Mars or Earth, depending on which uh, element you have. So for Soul Edge, you have to go to the Moon and go, uh, I believe they're called Solitaire. It's a rare version of the Helium filaments. So you have to do filaments all over the map, and it'll probably be at least 100 if you get lucky, because it's about a 5 to 10% drop on, on these. I think I probably did like 250, and I finally got all 10 of the rare... Uh, materials. If you have the other ones, which are the Void Edge and the Arc Edge, on the Arc Edge you have to go to the Earth and you're going to have to get 10 of its stuff, which is called uh, like Zygart cores or something like that. Again, in the video I show this as well, and specifically what materials you need. Uh, so besides that, if you have the Void Edge, it's going to be to Mars for the Relic Iron and a special material, which I can't think of the name, but in any case, it'll show up for you. You just have to keep doing it over and over until you get the materials. Also, a pro tip, make sure that your inventory is not filled up before you do this, or you might run into trouble, because you won't see materials showing up, and I don't know if it will even count. Once you have done all of this, I know, it's quite a bit, you will need to go back to Lord Shax once again, and he will finally tell you that he has an arms shipment that will be coming in with the gunsmith, and once you get the arms shipment, you will be able to move on to the next part of the quest. Finally, on arms day, when... Uh, the gunsmith has gotten the materials that are required, you will be able to move on to the final part of the quest, which is called Sealing the Blade. In order to do this, you're going to have to defeat Adlake, who is Warden of Oryx, and then Alec Hull, the Dark Blade, within 30 seconds to seal your soul edge. Now, since this is the first week, I am also waiting until Wednesday to find out exactly what this means, and I will definitely have an updated video on it. However, it sounds like we're probably going to have two specific special new arena matches against these, because I assume that this is going to have to be done solo. 
a final piece of advice I'm going to give you is that I chose to use my Titan because I feel that even though the void kills will take a long time because I don't know that enemies coming into the shield will count, uh, the other two, which are the Solar and Arc, are pretty good with the Sunbreaker and Striker classes. So, I chose one character and I leveled up all weapons, all the swords, sorry, the three, on the same character. In doing so, I did not have to complete uh, the quest where you have to kill 25 people in Crucible and the 50 majors all over again. Instead, they all just unlocked on the same character. And so my best advice is probably to just use one character for this and it should make it a lot faster process. So as it stands, I am currently working on the other two swords and I'll have updated videos on that as well as an updated video on Wednesday on these particular final fights and then eventually the actual story. But so far this is everything that you need to know so hopefully you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this if this helped you out and thanks so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.